Hey YouTube, this is Kwaku from Next Gen Windows, and today's video is on this app I found. Um, you saw it; I'm sure you saw it in the previous video. It's called YouTube RT. Uh, here's the live tile right here. Uh, as you can see, it shows just the featured videos in YouTube RT. As you can see, this is the splash screen. I didn't purchase this, so we'll just continue. Uh, even if you don't purchase an app and you hit the try, if the app has a try. Uh, it's still a full app, but you just get a trial of it. You only get to use it for a certain amount of a certain period of time. But on the other hand, here is the app. Here's the main screen of uh, uh, the app called YouTube RT. It's a YouTube client for. It's a YouTube style. It's a YouTube app for uh, Windows 8 uh, Metro. I'll call it. I'll call everything Metro, even though Microsoft changed the name. But this is the YouTube client. Uh, just showing you a brief thing. Uh, they have for various tabs. They have they have subscriptions, trending, recently featured, most shared, most popular, favorites, most viewed, oops, uh, top favorites, top rated, and watch history. Now, when we go back to the beginning. Uh, when you swipe up from the bottom, you can see refresh and account. Uh, refresh just refreshes the videos, and account actually shows your account. So it shows your, uh, as you can see, I'm logged in, next gen windows. And you can see you know, your uploads, your playlists, and sign out. If you haven't signed in, it'll take you through the process of signing in. Uh, it'll say log in or sign in in the corner instead of, uh, instead of all this stuff. But you'd have to press account first. Now, similar to the Windows Store, uh, they have tabs. You can press subscriptions to view all your subscriptions. And you can see you can view all my subscriptions feed, so all the recent videos coming from all my subscriptions. Uh, it's pretty fluid. It works really nicely. There's some cool features that I have to show you guys. Uh, trending. You can do the same thing with trending and recently featured. So basically for all the menu tabs, you can just press the thing and it works. Now, another thing we can do is say we want to use locker name. So Hello world. What to do is pause this video cuz he hasn't given me permission to actually show it. Now, you can when you swipe up from the bottom as you saw what I did, you can see various things. You can see the title uh, unfortunately, you can't see the title of scroll. I wish they would do that. Uh, you can go back to the home page. You can go to now playing, which is this video. So let's see if I press it, it shows what's playing. And then if you press that, it goes to the video. I'm already in it, so it won't do anything. You can click zoom, and it zooms into the video, uh, similar to iOS's uh, zoom in uh, function. Uh, Add to playlist. You can add anything to a playlist, and it tells you what playlists you want to add it to, or if you want to hit new playlists, you can. Uh, you can download videos. You can say, "I want to download this video in SD," so uh, standard definition. You can choose whatever is here, and you can say, "Okay, this is what I want," and you can hit download if you want to, and it'll start downloading. Uh, this is how you choose the resolution. You can choose 720p. As you can see, it actually changes I'm Chris, it Chris, constantly. Chris. Sorry again. Uh, and then if you want 1080p, it tells you that the video finished downloading already. And everything, I like this a lot because everything oh, and this is instantly. Fortunately, every time you hit the quality, you notice the video starts playing, so it doesn't just change on its own. Uh, you can hit video details to show a cool view. The video actually can continue playing if you hit the play button. You can like videos, thumbs down them. Uh, you can view all the um, description of the video and the comments. You can view the related videos. And when you hit the comments, you can hit, you can view them all. So I hit the comments tab. Never. The one thing that most, a lot of people will probably get confused with, is when it says view all comments. Uh, most people will try to press that and think it does anything, but it doesn't. 
you actually have to press comments itself and you see it change color and it went into it and then you can post a comment and say you know whatever you want and so on uh, you can view all the comments uh, I'm not sure what the order is for this comment I think it's you go down down and then to the right to the top and then you go down again so it'll be uh, similar it'd be like this order I think that's exactly what it'll be uh, but you can see all the comments that show up right here and if we go back out you can do that and you swipe up uh, it shows the same thing but when you hit now playing you can see the video whatever is playing press it actually you know what you don't press it to go full screen there's actually a full screen thing right here I, I completely missed so you press that to go full screen and it goes back to the full screen view of it now some other thing you can do is you, when you press the back button it goes back to the home page but you still see the video up there you can even play it see it plays in the top corner uh, and everything everything loads really fast uh, you can see the rendering it doesn't lock up like when you're on the web version if you have a certain internet connection speed I have a pretty fast speed I have like the second to top of Verizon files so it, it's a good speed but this has been Quaku and this is from next gen windows uh, if you like the video uh, give it a thumbs up if you have any comments or any suggestions of another app I should review uh, leave a message in my just leave a private message or even a comment below and just uh, thumb up the top comment because the top comment will be the video that I do next. Uh, this is Quaker from Next Gen Windows again, and I'll catch you later. Peace.